All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you a last Pac-12 preview and this one is on the UCLA Bruins for the 2015 college football season. Now Jim Moore and company went 10 and 3 last season with a big win in the Alamo Bowl. Now they have a new defensive coordinator in Tom Bradley. Hopefully he could get this defense working well and a high power offensive systems in the Pac-12 conference. Now they're going to have to play with a new quarterback because Brett Hundley is no longer with the team he was drafted by the Green Bay Packers and this is a little bit of a debate between Jerry Neuheisel who had a good game against my Texas Longhorns who's had 178 yards passing and two scores in that big win and there's also a good race between him and freshman um, Josh uh, Rosen. I think this is a good race but this is Jerry Neuheisel's job at quarterback at the start of the season and he does have a good running back behind him and Paul Perkins who had a big game in that Alamo Bowl over over um, Kansas State, not 194 yards rushing and two scores. Now overall for the season, he had 1,575 yards rushing and nine touchdowns. And they still have the top three returning receivers with Jordan Payton, Devin Fuller, and Thomas Durate, who will be, who be who will return for Jerry Newhouse to throw to this upcoming season. Now Eric Kendrick's no longer with the team. He is with the Minnesota um, Pat, um, Vikings, and he was actually the Buckets Award winner given to the nation's top linebacker so this is all going to be belonging to Miles Jack in that defense. Miles Jack is an amazing athlete who plays both offensively and defensively but he's going to take care of just more just basically defensive responsibilities for this team and I think he's going to be due for a great year possibly an All-American at the end of the season. Now a couple of incoming freshmen that they did pick up as far as recruits they picked up the number five defensive end in Kashan Lucier South. This is a decent pickup up, as well as um, a good um, athlete and Soso Jamabo out of Plano, Texas. I think this is an additional pickup, as well as the number one offensive guard and Fred Ulu Perry Jr. I think this is a, an excellent selection. They've been picking up a couple of good um, um as far as linemen, as far as defense and offensive linemen, and I do like the um, pickup at um. And, and the, the kid from um, Plano, Texas, and um, Jamabo, and, and Jamabo. I think that's a, a great pickup as well. Now this season, I think they're going to go nine and three again. I think they're just going to get edged out by USC in the Pac-12 South. I think USC is going to represent the South for the Pac-12 Conference. But I think this is, could be a good year for the Bruins. But I don't think they're going to make it to the Pac-12 Championship another year in a row. Now the next time to catch you guys will be on Monday overnight, where I will give you more pre. Reviews and I'm going to talk about the SEC conference. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.